What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Quarterly Manhattan Real Estate Market Update. We just wrapped up a third quarter of 2023, and it was an interesting one. The New York market faced some challenges, same challenges as the rest of the country. Rising interest rates, lack of inventory. 30-year fixed mortgage rates just hit 8% in October of 23. So now historically, this still isn't low. Certainly is not the 18% that we reached in the 80s, but 8% is the highest it's been since the year 2000. So what you're seeing now is sellers that are hesitant to forego those COVID level mortgage rates. And I mean, how many people are looking to sell their home and pay 8% interest for another home when you're already at three and a half percent? Just doesn't make sense. And you also have buyers that want to buy, but don't necessarily have to. So they're taking more of a wait and see approach, given the higher mortgage rates and the fact that there's not as much to choose from on the market. Oh, also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. I always forget to say that. What's up with closed sales? As far as the number of closed sales, historically, we're in a decent place regarding what closed in the third quarter. I hadn't had 3,400 total uh, closings and about 6.86 billion in sales volume. Now, that's better than the last three quarters and nearly 5% above the five-year average. Now, that's just the fourth time in 10 years that closings increase from the second quarter to the third quarter. But year over year, we are down 17% compared to the third quarter of last year. Now, last year was a strong year to compare against, but the $6.86 billion volume is 4% higher than the 10-year average. And what's up with inventory? We're low, just like everybody else. There isn't a lack of buyers. There's a lack of homes for sale for the buyers to bite the bullet. There was about 6,500 active listings in Manhattan during the third quarter, and 4,000 of those were new listings. This is the lowest number of homes on the market during the third quarter since 2017, and the lowest number of new listings since 2009. The listed inventory under $2 million, it fell about 8%, but the number of homes on the market over $2 million increased 4%, mostly due to high price resales in downtown. So the number of active listings were down all over the city, except on the east side, where active listings were up 4%. So sales are down from last year, but given that Manhattan has basically settled into that long-term average pace of sales, you gotta admit, it's pretty impressive given the lack of inventory. Now, how many contracts were actually signed? That's one of the most important factors. The number of contracts signed did fall about 15% annually to about 2,300 deals. I always like to look at the bright side though. So that's the smallest yearly drop since interest rates spiked back in mid-2020. What everybody wants to know about prices. Now, the median sales price was up 2%, around 1.175 million. That number slightly skewed though. Two reasons. Number one, big drop in sales under a million dollars. And two, it was a big spike in new development. What probably paints a better picture is the fact that the average price per square foot dropped about 4% to $1,782 a square foot. So again, back to settling into a normal market. This price per square foot is close to the levels we saw in 2018. So what exactly are people buying? I mean, it's the normal here in New York. 51% of the resales were co-ops, 31% of the resales were condos, and 18% were new development. Most homes sold were in the 500 to a million dollar price range, followed by the $1 million to $2 million price range. And as usual, one to two bedrooms dominated the market. So that's your update for Manhattan's real estate market during the third quarter of 2023, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever, ever want to discuss your buying options or your selling options, don't hesitate to hit me up. You can email me at lawrence.williams at corcoran.com. Uh, you can hit me up on IG or TikTok at the Lawrence Williams. Facebook, LinkedIn, Lawrence Williams Real Estate. Talk to you soon.